Now to the National Assembly, where the House of Representatives Committee on Disability has called for stiffer penalties for any organization, group, or individual that violates the Disability Act. The Speaker, Abbas Tajuddin, also renewed calls for the implementation of the Act by ministries, departments, and agencies of government. National Assembly correspondent Jokia Adisa reports. It is still a long way to go for groups, organizations, and individuals working for the recognition of the rights of persons with disabilities in Nigeria. Former President Muhammad Buhari signed the bill into law in 2018, and it raised hopes of a better future for persons with disabilities. The Act stipulates that all public buildings must create an accessible and convenient pathway for persons with disabilities. It provides a five-year moratorium for government and private organizations to adhere to the provisions of the Act. The Act also earmarks 5% of appointments and employment into government offices for persons with disabilities. When the House calls them, they come. The five-year moratorium has since expired. The Committee on Disability meets with key actors to fashion out ways of achieving compliance with the Act. The law is unambiguous. The persons with disability shall have the right to access into public buildings. And public buildings are not just public the way people look at it. Any building that is being used by the public is a public building. The speaker represented by the House leader says it is worrisome that less than 5% of the Act has been implemented in the last six years. If this is allowed to continue, it will cause severe damage to our socioeconomic development and further impair our thinking as a people without understanding. Conspicuously absent at this investigative hearing are heads of ministries, departments and agencies of the government, persons with disabilities here, also talk about the difficulties experienced in assessing hospitals, public buildings, and public transport. Most of the MDS lack the requisite technical capacity to mainstream disability in their work. We need to have a tool to follow up the MDS. What and what they're supposed to do, how they're supposed to implement this disability act. The roads are so bad. Even the roads are so bad. We don't have any bus that has, you know, a ramp that will have step in. Indications are that the House may commence an amendment process on the Act for stiffer penalties against violators. Jokayadza, TVC News, Abuja.